All right, I have the ultimate meme strat for you today. Now, I'm not going to play this yet because first we have to discuss a couple of things. And yes, this is the fast feudal into opponent resign. And the reason I picked Lithuanians is very simple. We're going to look at the Lithuanian tech tree and we're going to look at their unique civilization traits. And one of their unique civilization traits is that they start with an extra 150 food. Now, the idea is that we're going to go fast feudal as fast as possible, and we're going to mind game our opponent into resigning. So check this out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to build a mining camp and we're going to build a mill. I mean, I guess you could build a lumber camp as well. We're going to use one of those sheep to start collecting food from right away. We're going to build one villager in order to collect additional food. And ah, we found a boar. Very, very nice. We are going to be collecting food from that sheep and we're not going to build any additional villagers. So I do see the boar and oh, guess what? We got lucky. We got one additional one. Now we are going to start talking as soon as possible. Bringing this boar over because boars collect slightly faster than sheep. We're going to shoot that boar. And that's not a perfect lore, but good enough. That will get the job done quite nicely. And now we're going to start collecting from that boar. Now we're aiming to get exactly 500 food and immediately click up to feudal as fast as possible. We don't want to build additional villagers because building additional villagers is going to cost food and it's not going to pay out fast enough. Now another thing that we're doing right now is we are spreading out our sheep as fast as possible. This will increase our score. The more you scout, the higher your score will be. And once again, we are not <laughs> a little manipulation here. Ah, I'm 1800 in 1v1. How about yourself? What is what is your ranking like? Uh, and we're doing this because we're going to fast feudal as soon as we possibly can and then try and convince our opponent to resign. <laughs> this is just this shouldn't work ever. Uh, and one of the reasons uh, that this one in particular did work, this is obviously not a ranked game, we're doing a quick play game. And quick play, you can be up against anybody, right? You could be up against uh, an 1800 player or you could be up against an 800 player. Not sure, I'm new to 1v1 so I'm thinking, oh perfect, oh I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Playing the mind games, I'm so sorry man, I really, oh I had a really good start to uh, dark age. Actually, I'm already feudal. I'm already feudal. Uh, and then I ask him, are you, are you close to feudal already? Like, how, how close are you? We're like two minutes, three minutes into this game. Nah, I'm just testing my sieve. I'm having some fun. What are, what are you doing? And look at this. The score is getting inflated. We did lose this sheep to uh, either his scout or to one of his villagers or whatever it is. But we still have another sheep remaining and we're going to try and just get as much score as possible as quickly as possible yeah i'm already up to feudal and you can see that uh now we are also collecting additional resources these guys should actually get some wood because that is going to boost our score as well and this particular one was really really smooth i got exactly 500 food to go up to feudal and then i still had some food left on the board oh you're not up yet not even close yet really how are you so fast and i'm like Feudal! <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm like, GG. I'm, I'm calling the game already, but it's not game at all. I mean, I have five total population. He's way ahead in eco. Way, way ahead. Uh, I'm like, nice wood. Uh, trying to get him to resign at this point. If he doesn't resign, I basically lose this game. Right here, right now. Ah, I don't know this map. And this is another part of the strategy. You want to favor the map that is most hated and people are most likely to resign. And I will tell you this, I banned Arena, I banned Arabia, I banned Island because we need that resign to come in right now. But how though? And I was like, I really don't want to smurf you, I really don't want to send in my army and absolutely obliterate you, which is not going to happen. I don't have anything. I have five total pop one of which is a, a half hp less than half hp scout 
I will tell you if you just resign. I'm like, please, just resign, please. <laughs> At this point, I'm about to call to resign myself. So we're playing a game of chicken here. Who is going to resign the soonest? If he just stays in this game, he wins this every single time. Nah, I'm about to resign anyway, lol. There is no way I can even try anymore. Don't make me send my army forwards. So I'm trying to manipulate a little bit. And sure enough, three, two, one, boom. There is the resign. Uh, I actually did talk to this person uh, afterwards a little bit. And uh, he was really, really cool about it. He said no, no hard feelings and whatnot. Um, I think he even subbed to the channel, which was really, really nice of him to do. And, and we laughed and we, we talked a little bit about it. And I told him how the strategy works. You pick Lithuanians. They start with additional food. Uh, you don't build more than one villager, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm increasing my score by means of scouting. I'm picking a hated map. And we had a really nice conversation about it. It was nice to meet some people who are not, you know, complete... Um, d-bags about it but let's take a quick look at the statistics so military oh he did lose one to the boar so that's really really unfortunate for him there he probably was feeling oh man i'm not having a good game this guy is like absolutely gonna smurf me i don't want to get smurfed he had the most food collected he had the most wood collected um and i guess you start with a research already um, that's a little bit new to me and but 45% of the map explored and every 10% of the map that is explored uh, equivalates equ equivalates equals uh, 100 points uh, society 11 villager high <laughs> versus four villager high so he's six villagers ahead already and here is the timeline <laughs> this is probably these stupidest strat that I've ever done and I'm gonna be honest uh, I tried this uh, three times before I uh, finally had a success this was the third time that I uh, did it and it worked and that's it you know you don't have to win by means of um, military might you just need to make sure that your opponent does not want to continue and we had a good laugh about it he's like hey, why are you doing this on a, on a quick play game and i was like i just kind of wanted to prove to myself that i could do this <laughs> once again please don't try this but i just wanted to show you that it is indeed uh possible and uh thank you guys all for uh for walking uh don't run just keep on walking. Thank you so much.